Yo, what's the deal, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of 50 Vegan Spots in LA. Today, we're coming to you live from my kitchen. I right, obviously, we're all on temporary semi lockdown due to coronavirus. Uh, by the way, I hope everyone's staying safe and taking the necessary precautions just to protect ourselves at this time. I didn't want to keep the 50 vegan spots on hold, so I thought I'd come to you guys from my kitchen and bring you guys a, a quick and easy recipe that's plant-based that you can make for breakfast. I woke up this morning and I was craving French toast, something I haven't had in a long time. You know, I kind of wanted to just show you guys how quick and easy it is to do. And for those who don't think that they could do it plant-based, I'm here to show you a version and give you a recipe to take with you so you can do it on your own to share with your family or just for yourself when you wake up in the morning. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right to it. Okay, so you don't need much for this recipe. It's fairly simple by the way. I pulled it off of Google. I mean, you guys are more than welcome to do that as well. I'll tag the link below just so you guys can have it. I'm just going to show you guys just how easy it is. You know, I looked at the recipe one time and I had it. So it's very simple. All right. So as you've noticed, I got a few different things here on the table. I'll walk through all of those things right now for the French toast batter. Okay? Okay, this is what we'll need. We'll need some coconut milk, okay? A banana, I know we're dealing with the coronavirus, so I wanna show us all how to be resourceful with old bananas. Instead of letting it go to waste, this is a perfect opportunity to use an old banana. Some cinnamon, okay? The recipe recommended vanilla abstract, which I don't have, so I'm gonna use nutmeg in replace of that. Feel free to do either one. And some maple syrup, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five ingredients is all you need to make the French toast batter. Okay, I have a orange here, an avocado, and some grapes, and some blueberries here. That's just for me to complete my meal and to give my plate some color. Okay, so the blueberries will be going on top of the French toast, and the oranges, the avocados, and the grapes will be on the side to complete the rest of the meal. Well, now we're about to start whipping things up, so follow along with this montage. Three quarters of some coconut milk. Next up, sliced whole banana. A tablespoon of maple syrup. A teaspoon of cinnamon. A teaspoon of nutmeg as well. All right, so next up, um, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna blend it all up, and my batter will be ready for the toast. Okay, now that that's blended, I'm gonna grab a small bowl, or in my case, it's a small Tupperware. I'm gonna pour my batter right on in here. That's nice. Great aroma, Ooh. smelling good, okay. All right, now this part is fairly simple, okay? All we're gonna simply do is dip the bread in enough just for the batter to get on both sides. I don't wanna soak the bread because the last thing I want is the bread to be extremely soggy. Drop the bread in here, get one side, flip it over, get the other side, throw it in the fryer. Okay, so in this pan, I got a little olive oil. Hit it with the, uh, a spoon of vegan butter, making sure the pan is nice and lathered. With this batter, it can get pretty sticky. As you know, it's maple syrup, bananas, coconut milk. Okay, so a few natural sugars that will make it a little, a little more stickier than normal uh, than your traditional French toast. I got it on medium. Okay, I think we're ready. Here we go. All right, so while that's getting started, I'll go ahead and cut up my avocado, which is some healthy fats. All right, just a nice addition to the meal. Give it a nice pop of color. That'll be great. And uh, slice my oranges, okay? Just wanna make my breakfast complete. Make sure I'm touching everything. Nice, healthy, fulfilling breakfast. I already got my grapes washed, on which will go inside of the plate as well. And I have my blueberries ready. What I'm gonna do is just because I don't like bland items, I throw a little pepper and salt right over the top of my avocado, and that's ready to go as well. And continue on with this meal. Let me go ahead and cut this avocado out. Nice and neat, that's what they say. All right, so let's get back over here to this French toast, check it out, give it a nice flip. Okay, first flip, let's see how we looking. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is nice right there. Ooh! 
Come on, man. Who doesn't love nice golden brown French toast? It's a win, fam. Huh? You know, I didn't go to culinary school, so we're just gonna do the best we can here, all right? Got that avocado out. It's nice and ready. Slice. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful. It's a fresh avocado right there, man. Just for good measure. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, I got my oranges. Nice and ready. My grapes. Wow, that's nice. How about that? Sounds like that French toast is just about ready. Okay, we looking good, fam. And blueberries are going over the top. That maple syrup. Ooh-wee. Okay, let's check on that French toast. So, I've already slapped a little butter on each piece right before I got out the pan. Right, what I want to do is I want to bless each slice with its own blueberries. A little double-decker, you know? So, top this one off. So, the question is, do you cut now or do you cut later? I like to cut now because when I pour that syrup, I want it to get on every single bite. If you feel me knocking, let me in. Top it off with a little syrup. That's that dirty Sprite feature we're talking about right here. <laughs> dirty Sprite too. <sighs> and now, we are ready to feast. Mm. First bite, I need that blueberry. Mm. That's a perfect bite right there. Crunchy on the outside. Nice and soft on the inside. That's beautiful. That right there. Mama told me not to talk with my mouthful. Yo, quick and easy. Took me maybe about 10 minutes. If you guys want more recipes like this, more videos like this, be sure to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, until next time, we out.